What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Silent Tech once again, and today I have another mining video. The number one question that seems to always reappear is, where are all my coins? I've been mining for X amount of time, and there's nothing in my wallet. Well, let me go through how you can check and make sure that your miner is actually mining, and explain a few of the little intricacies there. Stick around. Alrighty, so essentially the reason you're not seeing any money go directly into your wallet or any coins immediately is because most of the pools that you're going to be mining are going to have a minimum payout. So to get that to pay out to your wallet, you have to have already mined for a certain amount of time depending on your hash rate, etc. That poses a problem for people trying to troubleshoot and just learning to mine. And what I'm going to do is show you guys a couple things here of how you can go ahead and check and make sure that you're actually mining. It's actually pretty simple once we get into it. Alrighty, so what you're going to want to do is open a browser session. I'm just going to use Chrome here really quick. And I'm going to go find my wallet address. Let's say today I am going to do Ubique. So I'm going to go into my Ubique folder or my mining folder and scroll down and find my Ubique start.bat file. I'll put a link if you guys are interested on how to set this all up and I already went through all that so you can do that right away. And once I open this up what I'm looking for are two things. I'm looking for this address here and that's the pool I'm going to be mining. And then I'm looking for this address here which is my wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my wallet. I already know that I'm mining the ubeekpool.io. So then I'll go into my browser session and go to ubiquepool.io and you will see here that there's a tab for miners. Every pool is going to have this in a different location so definitely click around in the web GUI and find where it's at. For me it's right here under the miner tab. I paste my address in there and then scroll down and I can see that I have two rigs running right now and how long ago they updated. I'm actually editing on the Titan right now so you'll see that it updated 13 minutes ago so it's a little behind it's not really actually mining right now and it will drop off. It should be within like a minute or so you can see here that this one last checked in 28 seconds ago and it had a hash rate of 128.24 and that's how you take a look there and then if you go up to your balances you'll see an immature balance a pending balance etc and when the next thing you want to look for is whatever the payout is going to be for this particular one you'll see that they put the minimum payout threshold on the home page and it is one ubique so if i go back over to my miner and look it up i see that i have a pending balance of 0.57 this isn't going to pay out until I hit one coin. Now on top of that, there's typically a payout time. So you can try to find that. Um, usually it's sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, and other times an hour. It just depends on which pool you're mining. For this particular one, I can't seem to find it exactly. So that is what you guys are looking for to make sure you're mining now a really popular one for ethereum is ethere uh, ethermine.org and you can do the same thing essentially here you can just go in and if it's for ethereum for example here is my ethereum address and we will go actually <laughs> I was trying out Alperium, but uh, just as an example here for a more popular site, you go in here, type it in in the status bar, and you will see all of this will be populated if you're mining it. Currently, I'm not. And if you click payouts and rounds, you can get a little bit more info. Here's what's interesting about uh, Ethermine is you have settings and you can change the payment threshold here. And here's the minimum. The max is 10. But um, if it's set to less than one ether, there's a tax fee. So you want to 
be cognizant of any tax fees that might be incurred when adjusting your payment threshold. Alrighty, so that's going to wrap up how you can make sure your miner's working. Hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe down below. As always, I will see you next Tuesday.